Hey y'all, it's Cinema Darling, and today in this video I'm actually going to be doing something I've never done on this channel before, and that is a TV series review. If y'all want to know a really kind of depressing secret about me, I really am not the best with TV shows. Like, I can watch movies all day long, all day every day, but with TV shows, I take my time on them. So today I want to talk about a very, very famous and popular TV show that I finished up later last year. I love this show so much and that is Lost. Look at all the season packs. Oh my goodness. And if y'all want to know how slow I am with shows, I started Lost in December of 2014 and I did not finish it until September 2016. So yeah, I mean I didn't finish it for almost two years. <laughs> no big deal, right? Anyhow, today I am going to be talking about Lost and just my whole opinion of the show because I feel like everyone has an opinion on Lost. Well, let's get Cinema Darling's opinion out of the way because God knows she needs to get her opinion out, right? Before we start though, I do want to give an overall opinion of the show. Like I said, I do love Lost. I think it's an excellent show. It definitely has its flaws. I will say though, I feel as if the show was stronger in the beginning and it did decline towards the end. So without further ado, let's get into the C-Classy Souls. Let's talk about season one. And we have the beautiful season pack with the used stickers on it, you know, why not? Season one of Lost to me is one of the most perfect openers to a series ever. I mean ever, ever. I remember watching the pilot for the first time and the first five-ish minutes of that pilot are just insane. You just don't know what's going on. You literally are Jack in this situation. You are just like, what's going on? Everything's just gone to crap. JJ Abrams does a great job with this season. Oh my goodness. The best thing about Lost to me in general are the characters. You have excellent, excellent, excellent characters throughout the entire series. And season one does an incredible, incredible job of developing all of these characters that you will be meeting on the island. And the one thing I love about this cast is it is a very diverse cast, but it's not forcibly diverse, if that makes any sense. Because when you are on an airplane, it's not just people from the United States. You have people from Australia, you have people from Korea, you have people from the UK, like it's just a whole pool of people. I loved, 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 loved how every episode in season one, for the most part, then you start to repeat stories, you go back and you get to see these characters' backgrounds as to why were they on this plane, this fateful plane. Another reason why I love season one is it kept it contained. You know, you had the mystery of the island because as we know, the island is a magical place. They didn't make it overwhelming for the audience. You were really just focused on the characters and the beach part. And that's what I really, really loved about season one was they didn't overwhelm you with not only all these characters but a really interesting island they kept it all just concise you can already see from season one there are foils and there are people who think it should be run this way and then there's people you're like who are just so philosophical about the island there's people who are just like I just want to get off this island you have the people who are just conning everyone and it's just amazing and for 24 ish episodes this is a very very well paced season. I know back in the day seasons used to be way longer than they are now but still 24 episodes and I was never bored. Not once. And I will say with Lost season one it is perfect in my eyes. I really can't find a flaw and I can also say that for season two. So let's get on to season two. Season one and season two to me are perfect seasons. This is where Lost was at its peak for me personally. This is where I was just so engaged and engrossed. And I remember just watching it. And have you ever had it where you just sit back and you know, you're watching a show and you're just smiling. You're just like, I love this show. I love watching this show. I don't want to do anything else but continue to watch this show. That is what I felt at with every single episode of season one and season two. And the reason why season two works magnificently is also because of the characters. And you are discovering more about the island. There's so much mystery behind the island in the beginning of the series. And it's done beautifully. You are just so invested. You're like, what's going to happen? Or why, why is this going on? Why are there polar bears everywhere? What's Dharma? And one of the best things I loved about season two was 
was the hatch and the whole button thing with Desmond and you're just like, oh my gosh, what happens if they don't press the button? The one thing I also love is you are introduced to new characters, but it never felt like you, it was just an influx of new characters. That kind of happens later on in the series that I'll get to. You get to meet Ana Lucia and a few of the other ones and you get to know them so well and they don't feel like just tacked on. They're just television masterpieces in my honest opinion. I really can't find a flaw with them and it's definitely the peak for Lost. Now let's get to season three. Okay. Hey y'all. So season three for me at least is where we could definitely feel a shift in the show. You can definitely feel the mood and the tone and the structure of the show has changed. And I'm okay with change. You know, if it works for the better, then by golly do it. I really wasn't adjusting to the change well. First off, like I had said in season two, you meet a good group of people, but it never felt overwhelming or chaotic. With season three, there's an influx of new characters that have come in and I just really wasn't having it, honestly. Like, I, I grew to love some of those characters over time, and I grew to hate some of them over time, but the thing I didn't like was I felt as if we weren't able to, you know, fully get to know them almost in that season, so I was really just like, okay, I don't care about these people, and what I wanted most was just to go back to the normal island style where you had Jack and Kate and Sawyer and Charlie, and you just see them all go through all this stuff. Whereas, you know, the group has been split up in this season for most of it and you're just like, oh my gosh, I just wish we could all be together again. I will say I loved how the world expanded with the island. I think that this was the last season before the whole island thing just lost itself, literally. I guess to me, I just really miss that small condensed feeling that Lost had for the first two seasons. The reason why I loved Lost in the beginning was because it literally took the question of, oh my gosh, I just survived a plane crash on a deserted island with all these people. What do we do? That's why I loved Lost in the beginning. I liked the ideas with the island, the mythology with it, and I feel like with season three, this is where the mythology begins to take over. But you gotta give season three credit because season three has the best finale out of all the seasons in Lost. I mean, like, my jaw drops for every single Lost finale, but I remember for season three, I was just like, what? You think it's a flashback of Jack being drunk and then you realize it's the future like in the last five minutes and he's like, we have to go back Kate, we have to go back and I'm just like, oh my gosh, they're off the island, what? And I loved that season three finale and it is one of the best finales I've ever seen. That finale made up for so much of season three that I just personally did not like. So for me, season three was good, but this is where I could definitely start to just see the flaws with the show. And now let's get to season four. And for me, season four was okay. I did like the idea that, you know, a group of them did get off the island. And we see throughout the season, you know, like how they got off the island and everything. If I am being honest, I remember I got to this point in season four where I literally just told myself, I was like, I really don't care what's going on. I'm just here for the characters and that's it. And thankfully the characters were still very good and I was really still invested in the characters, but my goodness, does season four just dip. I just didn't care for it that much. And another thing I really didn't like was Obviously, Lost is known for having all these questions opened up, but not a lot of answers. And in season four, you can definitely feel it. You can feel all these questions are bubbling up and you're just like, okay, what's the answer? And you know, obviously they're teasing us for the finale and everything, but my goodness, it just gets to the point where I'm just like, I'm so done. I'm just so done, y'all. And like I keep saying, I do not hate the island mythology. It's a very interesting thing. It's a very philosophical thing, but to me, the later seasons just lost itself in the mythology to the point I just didn't even care. I just cared about the characters. And when the mythology and the characters collided, it was wonderful. But when it was just all this mythology with it, I was just like, it, it's good. It's very interesting, but I, I'm not like loving this. Can we go back to Sawyer and, and Jack and Kate and Hurley? Like, can we go back to that? Not all of this, you know, Linus and Locke and Jacob, like, please. So for me, season four was okay. I mean, I like the idea that they, some of them did get off the island. I thought that was a very good idea because, you know, they're, they're not all gonna stay on the island. I also like how <laughs> things are not the same when they get back 
into the world and it's like, oh wait, we probably should not left the island. Let's talk about season five. Season five to me is better than season four. I like the idea with the time traveling. I thought that was really, really interesting. For I also like how you have a group of them back in the 70s and you have the group that is in the present. I guess characters carry every series, but the characters in Lost just carry the series head and shoulders. If these characters sucked, I would have quit such a long time ago. It was seasons four and five, there were just times I really didn't care. I was just like, I'm watching this for the characters. I do not care what's going on screen. I just wanna watch and see where they go. I will say though, the finale was very, very intense. Oh my goodness. Oh, Juliet. Oh, Juliet, gal. Whoa, I just remember my jaw was dropping. I was just like, what is going on? And you're just like, oh my gosh, people are gonna die left and right. As you can see, with season four and season five, it just was, eh, like it was just bordering on, okay, we're just gonna keep on watching for the characters. I'm not really into this anymore. But then we get to the final season. We get to season six. For me personally, season six picked up and got way, way, way better. From seasons three, four, and five, I thought season six was just better constructed and I think it definitely had to do with the fact that they knew that this was the final season so they actually had material to work with. They couldn't just lollygag anymore. They couldn't just be like, oh, well, there's the island mythology and Dharma and Jacob. You know, they actually had to, you know, be like, okay, this is what's really going on. And they took all those ideas and they did construct a good story with it. And I really liked the flow of season six. The timeline and the plot just were more condensed, which I liked. I really appreciated that because, you know, you had a couple seasons where you're just kind of like floating around and you're just like, okay, are they really making this up as they go along? I absolutely adored the fact that we saw what would have happened to the characters if the flight had just landed in Los Angeles. I loved that so much and I loved how it tied in with the finale, but I loved watching all the characters go on their lives and they all, at the end of it, connected. It was just so, so dope. Now let's talk about the ending of Lost. I've met people who love, love, love the ending of Lost. I've met people who hate it so much and it ruined the series for them. And so going into the ending, I just kept an open mind. I was like, yeah, I am not going to judge. I am just going to decipher it and just see what I think about it. And for me personally, I liked the ending to Lost. I think it could have been better. Definitely think it could have been better. But I liked how it ended. I was not disappointed. I was satisfied with what we got. It was a very emotional finale as well, which I was very thankful for. Like I said, what would have happened by kind of like how it was with Purgatory. I'm not saying it's the best thing ever. It's not, but I do like it and I wasn't disappointed at all. And before I wrap this up, I do want to talk about like my favorite characters because as we know, Lost is all about the characters and I've just mentioned 800 million times in this video. I'm just gonna tell y'all my favorite, like my top five favorite characters of the entire series. For me, my number one favorite character throughout the entire series, except for the first half of season one, has got to be Sawyer. I loved Sawyer so much. He kept it real. He kept it hilarious. He kept it heartfelt. And he was just that one guy that you just were always rooting for and you loved every single second. He was on TV. Oh my goodness, Josh Holloway did an amazing, amazing job with Sawyer to the point I can't even see him as anything else but Sawyer. Number two is Saeed. I always loved Saeed. I loved his backstory the most, probably out of, not out of all the characters, but he was one of my favorites. I loved how he was a torturer for the government in the Middle East. I was just like, that's insane. And I really just loved his little love story with Nadia. And even though I hated Shannon and Saeed, that was not real love, that was just desperation. I really liked him throughout. Number three was Claire, except for season six. She went really bizarre in season six. I did not like that at all, but I loved her because she was so sweet. She had Aaron, and you just wanted her to get off the island just for that, but she was also just super laid back and chill. Number four is Locke. I know there's people who hate Locke. I loved watching Locke throughout the entire thing because he was so philosophical and you 
He's always asking questions. I hate Locke towards the end because of the whole spirit thing. He was such an interesting character to follow. The last one, the number five that I will talk about is Charlie. You gotta love Charlie. He was the sweetest guy who went through this heroin addiction and you just really want him to get out of that and you know, not Penny's boat. Oh gosh. And the best thing about Lost is you go back and forth with these characters throughout the entire series. Like with Jin and Sun, I remember I didn't like Jin for a while and then later you just see him loosen up and you end up loving Jin and Sun, you gotta love Sun. And Jack, I liked Jack, I just feel like it's it's that main character syndrome like Rick from The Walking Dead like Rick and Jack they're 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 great characters but they're not like the most interesting characters in the entire show a uh, Kate I really liked I didn't hate her as much as some people do I just hated the whole love triangle with her Jack and Sawyer it just was so repetitive oh Sawyer I need to be with you I'm gonna sleep with you and then it would go to Jack like oh Jack I need you it just went back and forth to the point like just choose someone and she always would just be like I'm coming with you and then she would always get lost or something and then she would find the others and you're just like oh my gosh Kate just sit down and I loved people like Mr. Echo and Benjamin Linus was a very interesting villain he was annoying at times but very interesting I liked Juliet I liked Michael solely for how he said Walt he would just go Walt and I was just like oh my gosh God bless Michael Lost is a great, great show. One of the best shows TV has ever produced. Even though it got wonky towards the end, the characters are some of the best characters to ever be put to screen. I love Lost, even with its flaws. So that is my very first TV series review, but to keep an eye out, the next TV series that I will be doing for sure is Breaking Bad because I also finished that show later last year and I really want to talk about Breaking Bad with y'all. So that is it for now. I hope all y'all have a wonderful and not so lost day, but watch Lost at the same time. Just don't get lost while watching Lost, even though that's very simple to do. Anyhow, God bless Lost. God bless y'all. Stay classy!